Hi, I'm David Wells. I've been studying Kabbalah for over two decades. Kabbalah is a spiritual path that helps you understand the world in which you live, those who travel with you, and help you understand how the universe works within and external to you. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about a visualization to connect to your spirit guides. This is a wonderful visualization that can help you when you feel you just need that extra level of spiritual connection. It helps you connect to those who perhaps know a little bit more of the story. I'll also be talking to you about my online Kabbalah course, which I'm very excited to be sharing with you. Kabbalah is a wonderful path to continue your journey towards enlightenment. It's a body of magical information to support your personal and spiritual development. I've been teaching, sharing, and working with Kabbalah with clients for many, many years, and it's never ceased to amaze me the change it can bring to their lives. The beautiful thing about Kabbalah is that you're never alone. Your spiritual guides, your angelics are always around you. And to help you with that, I want to introduce you to some spiritual guidance that is already with you. You may know your spirit guide and perhaps he or she will take this opportunity to communicate. Or perhaps you're new to this practice and this idea and want to find your spirit guide. It's one of the things that people always ask me, who is my guide? And you know, I prefer you to find that out. That has much more power than someone else telling you. This visualization will also help you slow down in these hectic lives we have today. It's a great way of connecting to someone who has this wisdom Spiritual guides, remember, sometimes we feel as if they are not of this earth. But the truth is they're not on this earth. They most certainly are of it because they've had the experiences of life here, which is why their wisdom is so important. So let's visit and connect with your guides now. I'd like you to be really comfortable. Try not to be too hungry or too full of food. Find a comfortable chair that offers you support so you have a strong back nice straight spine, and your feet firmly on the ground. This helps you move the energy through your body. And when you're ready, close your eyes. I want you to imagine that you're in a forest. As you walk through this forest, you begin to become calmer, feel more relaxed. This is what nature does for us. She calms us down. Be mindful of your breathing. Concentrate on your breathing for a moment. Make it nice and deep. As you exhale, just relax more. Drop your shoulders and sink into your seat. Begin to lose your awareness of your surroundings become truly immersed in that forest. You're going to keep walking through the forest. Keep walking through the forest, deeper into the center of it. Deeper and deeper into the forest until you find a clearing where there seems to be a fire, a wonderful wood fire surrounded by stones, a meeting place. There's nobody there. But take a seat. Sit on one of those stones. Feel the power and the energy of the fire, the connection, the ground beneath your feet. And you'll hear, approaching, the sound of your guide. He or she will move beside you. They'll sit alongside you. And although it may be blurry to begin with, allow the energy to shift and change until you see an image of who he or she is. Sometimes this can be an emotional moment if you've never met this guy before especially. These guys have an investment in you and you in them. There's a great love always between you and them. They want to see you succeed. They want to see you make good use of all the skills you have in the here and now. And to help you, 
he or she will lean in and whisper one word in your ear, one magical word. What is that word? Now ask them who they are. Ask them their name. They don't always give it to you. You may hear it, but they don't always give it to you. But what they will do is give you a sensation, a fragrance, a touch perhaps that tells you that they're there. And if you pay attention in life, you will often feel that. And that's your cue to come back again to this visual, come back again to this fire, come back again to listen for guidance. Thank them for their presence. And as you do, tell them that you will work closer with them. You will listen more frequently and you'll make more of a commitment to stay focused on the spiritual path you're on. They will rise and move away. And as they do, stand up and move back into the forest yourself. Walk back along the path you came, feeling that ground beneath your feet. And as you move through the forest, allow your consciousness to come back into the here and now, to where you are here and now, and open your eyes. Write down your experience, record it, Eat and drink so that you bring yourself fully into the here and now. I hope you enjoyed that meditation. Spiritual guides are really important in the journey of the Kabbalah. They help and assist us in so many ways. If you've enjoyed this meditation to meet your spirit guides, then why not join me as I guide you through my online Kabbalah course? I waited a really long time to bring you this Kabbalah course. My students are always asking me when I'm going to do it. I'll guide you through the journey of Kabbalah. I'll take you from the very beginning, from the base of the tree of life to the top. There's lots of meditations to really help you experience the journey fully. There's also worksheets, so the information is always there for you. And the beauty of online courses is it's there for you forever. I'll be sharing the secrets of Kabbalah and offering an opportunity to build your very own personal handbook of your experiences. If you feel that this is a spiritual pathway that really resonates with you, something that you've been attracted to for so long, why not take the next step and register now where there's so much more waiting for you? Kabbalah has completely changed my life. Why not start with your journey today?